I'm gonna show you how to make the fastest soft cheese in the world. Okay, take some normal whole milk. Pour a little out into the jug because we need some air space in here. Okay, so pour a little bit of that out. Leave that off for a moment. Then squeeze some lemon. Okay, in fact you can do it through here and it catches the seeds. So a good squeeze of the lemon. We don't need a lot of it. Okay, put about one and a half tablespoons full of the lemon into the milk. Okay, one and a half tablespoons full. And then use the rennet, okay? This is rennet. And we're gonna put a, about a tablespoon full of rennet in there also. A little more. Brilliant. Top on, give it a good shake, okay, good shake. Right, it's now 24 hours later. We're now gonna separate the curd and the whey, which is actually formed in this, this bottle here, okay. So it's done its own thing, uh, and it's actually uh, separated completely, so we're actually going to just pour that out. As you can see, that's the way, and you throw that away. And here we come with the lovely cheese. That's the lovely soft cheese coming out now. Excellent. And now we're gonna let it drain for a while. Right, so here we are, a few hours later. That's drying nicely, you can see that. That's absolutely beautiful. So that's our cheese. I'm just gonna put that down uh, for, for a moment or two and get rid of the whey. As you can see, there's quite a bit of whey. It is quite nutritious. If you wanted, if you wanted to actually mix it into, uh, into a soup or something like that, you could do. There's nothing uh, um, wrong uh, with doing that and it doesn't waste it because there's quite a lot of whey. Right, I'm gonna divide this into two halves. So the other half of the cheese, I'm going to line a ramkin dish, just as before. Okay, there we go. Put it on your fist like that. Try to put it on your fist. Push it right in as far as you can. Okay. Then we're pretty much ready. Get that out of the way. Again, to put it in to the dish. This is about one day old from being poured out of the uh, carton. Get it in there. Okay, beautiful. Spread it nicely. Right, so there's a twist here. Um, I'm going to introduce some penicillium and I've not bought a culture because I'm going to just rub it off a piece of Stilton cheese. Penicillium is used for Roquefort, Gorgonzola, um, 
all sorts of blue cheeses, Stilton of course, uh, like this one here. So I'm just going to pinch a little bit, just a little bit, and introduce it to my cheese there, cover it up, and that will colonise over the next few days. Room temperature, don't try and put it in a fridge because it'll stop it or slow it down greatly. So that will just colonise very nicely and take on the penicillium um, as with the Stilton cheese, okay? Now don't forget, you can also add cream, you can add sugar, you can even put something in to sweeten it um, to actually make it a base for a, a cheesecake, something like that. Uh, so there's all sorts of things you can do. Okay, we're about four days on. Let's take a look at it. Great. It's, yeah, it's actually spread very well. I'm just going to tip that out. There we go. So as you can see, the penicillium has spread beautifully. It would have spread further. You can see how it's colonizing. Uh, but that'll do for me. You're going to get the taste in there and it's been, what, four days. So it's absolutely super. And uh, there's my blue cheese. Thank you very much. One thing you can do, of course, before we finish up here, again, is put the chives on. If you just pop a few chives on, if you've got them anyway, it always makes it look, it dresses it nicely. It always makes it look beautiful. And the plate, doesn't matter to few all over the plate. There you go, a few chives, put a few on the plate. Absolutely super, and let's put a, a couple on there as well, shall we? How's that? Right, here we are 48 hours later, and there's something I want to show you. If you don't like cheese that's too soft, um, then you can make it far firmer by letting it dry, basically. This is 48 hours later, as I say. Um, and we have one here that's quite a firm cheese. It's, it's like you might buy a Stilton or something like that. Uh, the penicillium, uh, as you can see, has um, colonised beautifully uh, around the bottom of the cheese there. So you can pop that in your your, pack, your lunch pack. Now here, this is a little trick. If you want to dry it off quickly, um, put some kitchen roll on it like this. Weigh it down so it touches all surfaces and it absorbs the, the liquid. Do that five, six, seven times. And then you've got a lovely little firm cheese. Uh, and as you can see, if I cut it here, you've got a lovely, lovely texture there. Again, uh, on the inside, you've got this beautiful Stilton-like effect um, with the penicillium. Okay, so that's how to make it a far firmer cheese. And again, done, um, I'd say, in about a week or uh, very little over a week. Thanks for watching. I'm going to show you how to make the fastest...